So I'll begin my evening time routine with a little workout. This is just a workout using body weight only, simple push-ups, sit-ups, just to keep me in shape, looking at my best. Also, working out has many amazing benefits like increasing bone density and, of course, increasing your muscles. Girl, look at that body. I work out. This room right here is kind of where the magic happens. We've got a mirror here, and we have a pole here. This is really good just so that you can climb it, and it's really fun to swing around. We also have this, an inversion table. For, it's got many amazing benefits. It's also really good for stretching your spine, great for posture. And then... We have this thing right over here, the Schwent Air Diner. This is a great bike my dad uses every morning, and uh, I love it too. It's like awesome cardio. It works with a fan, so the resistance is the wind, and it is crazy. It's like the only cardio you really need besides running. That's my brother's violin. He's an amazing violinist. And uh, yeah, so I'll do my push-ups, sit-ups here. Let's, let's get started. I like to put my feet under something, and the the Schwent Air Diner bike here has, you know, a little place that I can put my feet. It allows me to do more sit-ups and get even more ripped. And I have this uh, little smartwatch here that tracks my heart rate and how many sit-ups I do. So, yeah, I just uh, kind of do the sit-ups. You know, I usually have my arms there, but I can't because I'm holding the camera. And uh, I do as many as I can till my abs burn, uh, and I cannot pull myself back up anymore. I do this instead of, you know, oh, I'm counting today, I did 50 reps, or 70, or 100. Just do as many as I can. Yesterday, I already did some, and then it's really important to stretch after, otherwise, you know, you're going to be really sore the next day. So, I just keep it going, and then, yeah. Move on to the next part of the workout. So, uh, of course, we all know the secret to doing the best sit ups ever is to wear genius merch that gives you the advantage over everyone else. Another tip when doing sit ups is. Don't fully make it to the ground, just barely hover over the ground, and this is going to keep your abs tensed up and constantly in work to hold you up from the ground instead of going down all the way to the ground and lift yourself back up because that gives your abs a break. And so when you do that, you do less, and it's way more painful, and it's a lot more effective. So... All right, so my watch says I've done 80. No, if you can see that. Yeah, uh, it's a little blurry on the screen there, but whatever. So I've done 80, and obviously I could do more, but I want to get on with the video. So as you can see right over here, my max heart rate was 156, and the average was 135 beats per minute. So after you do your sit-ups, you're going to have a lot of lactic acid buildup in your abdominal muscles. So it's really important to stretch out those abs. A great stretch is the cobra. You may recognize this stretch from elementary school. You do this, and then you go as far back as you can. And it's really good also to lean your head back. It's also really good for posture, as it is a great back bend to help with posture. So you're not humped forward all day looking at your smartphone. This is really good because 90% of the nutrients that goes to your brain is affected by your spine. The man who discovered this won a Nobel Prize. And if you do the cobra out here, you're gonna get even better results because you're gonna get the grounding from the earth and the wonderful fresh air that's really cleansing to the system. There's a lot of indoor air pollution that oftentimes we don't talk about. We always talk about outdoor air pollution, how it's really bad, but there's a lot of problems with indoor air pollution, it's very good to make sure your windows are open all the time and to go outside and enjoy the fresh air and the sun. Now, there are many amazing benefits to stretching, and the Cobra is just a basic one. It works. My mom takes stretching to a whole other level.
Now, stretching has many amazing effects, like reducing the level of soreness your muscles are the next day. I don't know if soreness is a word. Whatever. So, that's a great effect. And the next effect that I really love about stretching is it boosts stem cell production. Now, stem cells are amazing. They're embryonic cells in the body, so they can become any cell. And you can imagine your tissue is made up of, like, so many cells. We have trillions of cells in our body. And a lot of them are dying on a really frequent basis. And new cells need to replace those cells. That's where stem cells come in. Stem cells can become any cell. And they can replace that cell's spot. So stem cells are really good. But new breakthrough research. And this is like, this is it. One of the best ways to increase longevity is stem cell injections. So many biohackers and health experts are getting stem cell injections done. And it's, you have to travel to a foreign country, and it costs a lot of money. But what they do is they take a foot-long needle, and they inject it in your back and throughout the body to get your stem cells. And then, next time you come back there, or that day, they will inject stem cells into you again. So when they inject the stem cells in you, it has amazing effects. It doesn't actually allow you to, your body to use those stem cells that you're injecting. But it does tell all the cells in your body to act younger. And this is the breakthrough research of the century. It is one of the best ways to increase longevity. Now, it's not the most practical thing for the majority of the population. So, if you don't want to travel to a foreign country, you can do stretching and you're going to get some of those benefits. Because stretching boosts stem cell production. If you're interested in unleashing your genius to boost your brain power, longevity, and productivity, then the Genius Mode program's for you. It is designed to help you unleash your genius and share with you the genius lifestyle so that you can effortlessly implement genius into your life. Now, I normally really only sell these programs at events, but I'm making an exclusive YouTube offer for you guys. If you'd like to enroll in the Genius Mode program, just send me an email. The link is in the description below. Check that link out, and I'll see you in the next hack. Time for the push-ups. As you can see, my hair is wild, like usual. All right, let's get to it. Wow, my hair is unbelievably wild. Time for isometric push-ups. Just hover myself above the ground. All right, now my max heart rate and average heart rate is a little lower. But now that I've done my push-ups and sit-ups, we have to do two more things. The Schwent Air Diner and the wonderful pull-up bar. Let's get into it. Look at this, this is the average heart rate, and this is my heart rate throughout the whole sprint in the high intensity interval training. Pretty cool, huh? Now this is really fun to climb and swing on. So I'm gonna just do that now, it's really good upper body because my socks 
inhibit my ability to climb using my feet because they just slip right off. So it's just just upper body, just just the arms. So let's let's get climbing. And we can touch the ceiling and then slide back down. This is my favorite thing to do. This is just pure fun and it works on your arms. All right, let's go to the pull-up bar. on my pull-up scales, I can only do really two right now, and they're not full chin-ups, but yeah, I'm working on it, and this is a really good, just every day you do a little bit more, and eventually I'll be able to do like five, six, seven, pretty awesome. Since I broke my arm this summer, the pull-up bar is really good to help rebuild my arm's strength. All right, now this brings us to my room, and this is my bedtime routine. In the next video, we're gonna get into my morning time routine and how you can rock the day. But here's how you can get the best quality sleep, how you can hack your sleep so you can sleep less but get better results. First off, I'll make sure to minimize or eliminate all blue light exposure two hours before bed. Also, I don't eat two hours before bed, especially not high protein foods, because when you do eat, your body's working really hard to digest instead of falling asleep, repairing, and detoxifying. So you gotta sleep longer and you're not gonna have the same quality of sleep. Another great hack is to switch out your light lamp LED bulb for this wonderful, beautiful red bulb. Let me show you what this looks like. It's an LED bulb, but because it's red, it eliminates all of the blue light. So this is a great night light that I use in my room. So you know you can be working, finishing some work at night, and you got this wonderful night lamp. And uh, it works great, it looks really cool, and you know, it's awesome. It eliminates all blue light, and it's really gonna help you get into your circadian rhythm so your body starts producing melanin so you can fall asleep, which is really, really important. Another thing I wanna point out over here is an ethernet cable. And this kinda goes here, and then look at that. I have an adapter for my phone, so. I don't have an iPhone, uh, I have a Google Pixel 3 XL, it's got a better camera, and so it's USB Type-C, but this would work with a MacBook or a Google Pixel, and so I just connect it to my phone instead of using Wi-Fi, because it's not good to have Wi-Fi before bed, because that radio frequency really messes up your sleep. So I got the Ethernet here, and this is how I do everything, instead of Internet. Over here, I have a beautiful puzzle that has been built and framed by the one and only Anthony. He is a fantastic supporter. He inspires me with all his comments. But just isn't that just gorgeous? Another fantastic hack for sleep is making sure your room is pretty cold. It's nice to have a cool room. This is really, really important because your body's ability to repair and regenerate is enhanced when you're sleeping in a cold environment. So I have a winter blanket, so it's a really cool blanket that I sleep with. I do not sleep with PJs or anything like that. I just go with underwear and that's all I need. I sleep like that and it's cool, right? But it's great. Which brings us to my favorite hack for sleep. You can do all the hacks. You can sleep in a cold room. You could even do cold immersion before bed. You can have blue light exposure eliminated, avoid eating, have a toxin low diet so you have the best quality sleep. You can do all those things, but nothing beats the spike pillow. Spike pillow is fantastic. I just got this on Amazon. It was pretty cheap. It also came with a spike mat, and I did do the spike mat in the beginning, but I found it was too easy and wasn't really painful after I, you know, I learned to handle the pain. It's kind of like cold immersion My just back. without any cold. My back. It's, hurts and so it works on your mind and there are many benefits which we're going to get into really really soon but i found the pillow was even more painful had even better results because all the pressure your body was elevated and so all the weight was on this one pillow which made it even more painful but still getting the same effect now what i love about this pillow 
is it makes the best pillow for pillow fights. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, you'd win, but look at that. It's menacing. So here's how I use it. Just put it on the bed, and then I lie on it. So I put it on my upper back, and I just lie on it. Obviously, with a shirt, it is not painful, so I usually do it without a shirt. But this is it. And it is fantastic. It has many amazing benefits. But why is this so great for sleep? Well, we have three different types of brains. We have the reptilian brain, which is our primitive brain. It's responsible for fight or flight mode. Without any energy, to that brain, we die. It's game over. So that is the most important. It gets first dibs on energy, basically, because it is so important. Then we have our mammal brain, or our Labrador brain, kind of like a, like a dog. So that brain is responsible for keeping us alive. It is always alert. So you can never really focus on one thing because your mind is always focused on other things surrounding the area. In case you run into a wild animal, you've got to be prepared. So that's what that brain is responsible for. The only problem is when you're lying in bed and your brain isn't focused on falling asleep and relaxing, it's focused on survival. That's not good because you're in your bed. It's safe. A bear's not going to come into your bedroom and eat you. That's not going to happen. It maybe would in the wild, but not, not here. What this spike mat does is it, it gets you to train your brain and tell your brain, everything is fine, relax, I'm safe. It takes a little getting used to, but once you add this to your bedtime routine, it is fantastic and you sleep so much better. Another key to having fantastic sleep is to go to bed early. Now, nobody wants to go to bed early, but you'll find that when you go to bed earlier, you wake up way earlier and you don't have to sleep for as long. For example, when I go to bed at 10 o'clock, I usually wake up really, really tired and a lot later, like at 8.30. But if I go to bed at 9 o'clock, an hour earlier, it is fantastic because then I'm in deep sleep between 2 and 6 p.m., which is essential, and I don't need to sleep as long, and I'll easily wake up at 7 without a problem, fully recharged. And I'm a growing teen, so, you know, I need more sleep. So this is really important. Go to bed early, and you'll find you don't have to sleep as long. You're going to be way more productive the next day. It's just a win-win situation. Put this all together, you're going to be fully recharged and ready to rock the day. So... This is my bedtime routine. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the morning routine video.